Folks, here we're asked to evaluate a closed loop line integral where the closed loop that we're traversing is a path, that, a triangular path with the vertices given in a counterclockwise orientation. But rather than uh, evaluate this line integral directly, we're asked to use Green's theorem on it. So let's look at our line integral. It's the closed loop line integral x y squared dx plus 2x squared y dy. I recognize this as circulation form. If you don't see why this is circulation form, uh, go ahead and stay tuned uh, in the video and I'll explain this at the end. So regardless of how we evaluate this, we're going to have to identify the vector field from which this problem came. So our vector field is the vector field f of xy and it's going to have two component functions f and g where we get the f component function here from this first portion. So our f component function is x squared y. And our y component function, well we get that from the second term here. So that is 2x squared y. The next thing I want to do is I want to look at the region that we're integrating over. So let's go ahead and sketch that. So I've gone ahead and sketched this region with the closed loop C. The sketch is described in our interior region R on the inside there. Well, I'd like to go ahead and describe this region R. And I want to describe it as a set of ordered pairs, x comma y. And then I have to decide how I want to describe it. In looking ahead, we want to think about integrating this. Don't write this down. If I were to try to integrate this uh, with respect to y, uh, on the outside, I would have to change my upper and lower functions. So instead, let's think about integrating this with respect to x, where we see as we move along here, the lower limit and the upper limit, those lines never change. So describing this region, we would say that this is going to be for x between 0 and 2, and our y values are going to be bounded by these two lines. Well, this is the line y equals x, and this is the line y equals 2x, and so our y values are bounded between them, and so we'd have x less than or equal to y less than or equal to 2x. So now we've got our region described in our vector field. Let's go ahead and state Green's theorem real quickly. So as a reminder, Green's theorem tells us that instead of evaluating circulation along a boundary, which does require a parameterization of our curve, and we'll be able to avoid that, that we could go ahead and evaluate the 2D curl over the entire region. Transforming this circulation problem uh, of one uh, single integral problem into a double integral problem. So taking our question here. So I took our original circulation problem, wrote it as a double integral, using the boundary as we previously wrote it for r. And then here we had to compute the partial derivative of our g component function with respect to x, and the partial derivative of our f component function with respect to y. Again, our f was this expression, and our g was this expression. All that remains now is to go ahead and solve this integral. And 
And so we end up with an answer of 12 for the sum of the circulation, or excuse me, the sum of the curl over the entire region. But of course, by Green's theorem, finding the sum of the curl across the entire region, finding the sum inside this region here of the curl is equivalent to finding the circulation along the boundary. That wraps up the question. Unless you're curious about why this is a circulation form, because we don't usually write Green's theorem this way. So I'll pick that up now. So I said this was a uh, circulation form of a line integral, and let's just confirm why that's so. So one way to look at this is this is the line integral of x y squared times x prime of t uh, plus 2x squared y times y prime of t all taken with respect to t. And so another way to see that is we could rewrite this as the line integral of c of the vector x y squared comma 2x squared y dotted with x prime of t comma y prime of t dt. And so this is simply, if we give our correct parameterization of this function, uh, the vector valued function uh, with respect to time, we'd have f of t dotted with r prime of t dt, where r is a parameterization. of the curve C, which by the way I should have labeled here. So now this does indeed look like how we usually give the circulation form of a line integral. If you'd like, you could take that a step further and write that as uh, F dotted with dr, and now it surely looks like uh, the traditional circulation form of a line integral. If you have any questions on that, let me know.